is not a person who strongly man. This is the other extreme. You have to avoid both of these two extremes. The middle path is that we worship Allah, the way that he deserves to be worshipped, and also to have good akhlaq with, uh, with all the Muslims. That is why it is important to have akhlaq along with knowledge, because knowledge tells you what to do and when to do it. Without knowledge, a person will not know how to act in every single situation. Accordingly, the Prophet ﷺ said, the best of you in Islam, the best of you that have converted to Islam, are the best of you in akhlaq as long as they have knowledge. Without knowledge, akhlaq is not that powerful. But when a person combines knowledge and akhlaq, then this is the height of iman. And that is why, when the Prophet ﷺ combined both of these to their perfection, he was the most knowledgeable of Allah. He had the most fear of Allah, and he was also the best of the best of, of akhlaq. Allah described the Prophet ﷺ in the Quran, had you been coarse and vulgar of a harsh characteristic of a hard heart, then the Sahaba would have left you. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells the Prophet sallallahu that even though he is the Prophet of Allah and the Sahaba are the best of all of society, if he had bad akhlaq, the Sahaba would have left him. Imagine if a da'i, a caller of the, uh, to the way of Islam, has bad akhlaq. No one will take from him. Not even his family and relatives will take from him, much less society, if he has bad akhlaq. And this shows that perfection comes about when a person combines akhlaq with knowledge. When one exists without the other, this is, then this is a sign of imperfection, a sign of deficiency. We have to avoid the two extremes. The first one is to emphasize akhlaq with mankind and to ignore the worship of Allah. The other extreme is to su supposedly perfect the worship of Allah, yet have bad akhlaq with ma mankind. This scenario cannot exist. Akhlaq is of three types. The first type is the most important type, and that is your akhlaq with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your characteristics and your manners with Allah. What do you think of Allah? What are your hopes with Allah? How much do you fear of Allah? How much do you love Allah? Love, fear, and hope are the primary com components of Tawheed. Your love of Allah, your, your love of Allah, your fear of Allah's punishment, and your hope in Allah's mercy. How has these three been perfected in you? How much are you shy and embarrassed of Allah? How much do you desire Allah's reward? How much do you love Allah? What is your akhlaq with Allah? This is the most important. The second type of akhlaq is akhlaq with the creation, akhlaq with the Muslims, akhlaq with the non-Muslims, and even akhlaq with the animals. Even each one has its own chapter of akhlaq. How do you deal with them in each situation and circumstance? The sec this second type of akhlaq is not as important as the first. The first is the most important. After the person has done the first with tawheed and with worshiping Allah the way he deserves to be worshiped, uh, he then moves on to the second, which is basic basically akhlaq with the creation all around him. The third type of akhlaq is the akhlaq with one's own self. Yes, you even have to have akhlaq with your own self. Your body has rights over you. Your spiritual body, your soul, and your physical body all have rights over you. So you have to show your body and soul its rights as well. The Prophet ﷺ once told Sulaiman al-Farsi to tell the following to one of the companions. Tell him that tell him that your body has a right over you, over you, your soul has a right over you, and your family and wife have a right over you. So give everyone the right that it has over you. Give everything its right. So the third type of akhlaq is a akhlaq one has with its oneself. When we understand that, uh, when we understand these three types of akhlaq, akhlaq with Allah, akhlaq with creation, and akhlaq with oneself, then we will appreciate pro the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam hadith. I have only been sent, meaning the only reason Allah has sent me is so that I may perfect with akhlaq, akhlaq with Allah, akhlaq with other creation, and akhlaq with oneself. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants us knowledge, grants us a flag to preach to and call to act upon that knowledge, resurrects us among the, uh, along with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, grants us, uh, grant us his shifa, and grants us jannah because of our deeds and because of the forgiveness of Allah. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adha binnaad. Rabbana afrig alayna shabrana wa sabit daqdamana wa sunna ala al-qawm al-kafirin. Rabbana la tuakhirna inna sina wa akhtana. Rabbana wa la tahmil alayna isra'a kama mastuhu ala al-ladina min qablina. Rabbana wa la tuhammilna ma'ala taqat alayna bih. Wa'afwanna wa gfir lana wa rhamna anta maulana fansurna ala al-qawm al-kafirin. Rabbana la tuzik kulubina is ba'ba is hadithina wa hab lana min ladunka rahma inna ka anta al-wahab. ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا واسرافنا في امرنا وثبت اقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد 
ربي جعلني مقيم الصلاة ومن ذريتي ربنا وتقبل دعاء ربنا اغفر لي ولوالدي وللمؤمنين يوم يقوم الحساب ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد حديثنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب وصلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين برحمتك يا رحمين وقيم الصلاة